Hey guys, today we are going to build a bell waterer. And for those of you who don't know, the way it works is the weight of the, the drinker plus the waterer, the heavier it gets, there's a spring in there that compresses. And once it gets heavy enough, once there's enough water in it, it shuts off the flow of water to the drinker. And then when the poultry drink a little bit, it gets a little lighter, the spring uh, expands just a little bit, water comes back in, it gets heavier, and it shuts back off again. So anybody who I've ever talked to who has bought one has really loved them. Um, I've never heard anything bad about a uh, Bell Waterer. The only thing is they're kind of pricey. Uh, you're looking at like 50 bucks a pop for one of these things. So without further ado, let's get going. So the main component of our drinker is going to be this pre-made five quart poultry drinker. Now this is actually a vacuum style drinker, but we're gonna convert it to work as a bell drinker. Now as you can see, I've already kind of been messing around with this one. This was from a different design that I tried that didn't work. So I've already got a hole in here, uh, but we should be able to work around that and make it work just fine. So if you're starting out with a new one, the first thing you're going to want to do is drill a 3 8 hole right on the top of this drinker. And there's actually a little nubbin that would be on the top here from when it is uh, molded where the plastic was injected in there. So it makes it a really easy spot to find the center on it. Uh, and put a 3 8 hole in the top of your drinker. Next thing you would need to do is we need to put two slots on either side, one over here and one over here. And the reason that we need to put these slots in here is so that we can fit this piece of square tubing through that slot. And if stuff doesn't make sense right now, hopefully it'll make sense a little bit later on as we get farther into this. Okay, we got the slot cut into here. And the way I did that is I used a, uh, a 5 8 bit to drill like three holes in there and then I just use my knife to kind of smooth up the edges clean it up because you want this to be able to go through and this is half inch bar you want this to be able to go through and be able to kind of move up and down in there next step is to drill a one quarter inch hole in the middle of this all the way through We got our hole drilled in here and the reason we got a quarter inch hole is because we're going to be putting a quarter inch uh, bolt through this piece here. Now I'm going to quickly go over the rest of the stuff that we got here for the drinker. Uh, this first piece right here is actually something you're going to get out of the lighting department and what it is is it is hollow all thread which means there's thread all the way down it and it's hollow in the middle and generally this would use, be used for uh, doing a lamp because uh, you can run cord up through the middle there and then you can connect your light socket on one side and then this will connect to the base but we're using it for a little different purpose today so I got a little piece of this this is about maybe two inches I bought an eight pack of these um, it was about the cheapest way to do it then also with this you're going to need these nuts that go with it as well and this is a 3 8 inch bolt, but it's got a really fine thread on it. So you're going to need to pick these nuts up along with it, and they should be right in the same section as this. Um, okay, the only reason I've got this washer is because I've got a bigger hole than I need up here, so that's just to help uh, brace it in there. But if you have the correct size hole in the top of your drinker, uh, you don't need that washer. Also, we need a spring because uh, this is what's going to uh, control how much water you've got in your drinker. Uh, I just picked up this big assortment of them at Home Depot or whatever. Uh, 84 springs for like three or four bucks and I got one right here that I think will do the job just fine. Also I've got some rubber washers. This one's a bonded washer. It's got a galvanized washer on one side and a rubber one on the other. This is just a plain neoprene, I think. 
yeah neoprene washer I'm gonna test them both see which one I think works better got a nut for the bolt uh, and here I've got 3 8 inch tubing if you notice that's the same size as that they're both 3 8 outer diameter because we're gonna join them together with this thing right here which is a 3 8 inch push fit which means it just slides into the end um, push fit coupling so I'm gonna kind of dry fit these together outside because once it's in here you aren't really gonna be able to see what's going on inside so I'm gonna put it together outside so you can kind of see what's going on and then we'll put it in here for the actual thing Okay, so this right here is the main part of the, uh, the drinker. It's kind of your, your valve. Uh, so in the top of this is where your uh, 3H tube would connect in, and this is going to go to your supply tank, whatever you got for that. A bucket, a large 100-gallon tank, whatever it is you got that's feeding into this. So the water's going to come in here, and it'll be able to travel down through the inside of this. Now the inside of this uh, hollow all thread is maybe, I don't know, it's bigger than a quarter of an inch. So there's room around it um, for the water to come down around the bolt. Then, okay, so this top nut here, the top one, um, and this washer are what's going to connect it uh, and kind of secure it to the top of the drinker here. And I want to tighten it down so that it stays fairly centered. Then we've got two more nuts here. We got one and two. Um, what these do is the farther that this one da is down on your piece of hollow all thread, the more weight it'll take to compress this all the way down and for the bottom of that all thread to come to rest on that uh, neoprene washer down there. I'm using the neoprene one uh, just for starters, see how that one works. And then the farther up that nut is, the less weight it'll take and the easier it'll compress against that thing. Now this nut in the middle is to lock them together. That way once you've got it set where you want it, you can tighten these against each other and then it'll hold them in place so that it's not going to go moving on you. Now the reason we've got this bar here is that we want this is how we're going to hang it. So I'm going to run like a, a string or something through this piece of bar and then the bar will come through these holes and I'll be able to hang it up above from there so that all the rest of the weight from the water is pushing down on this spring. So I hope that's not too confusing. I'm sure it is a little bit but I'm going to go ahead and put it together get it hooked up into here and we'll try it out. Okay, and here we go. So this is the gist of it that so the uh, it's going to be connected on either side to like a, a string or something. And that's what's going to suspend this. Then, let's see, can you see inside there? Uh, and if you can see inside there, you can see the spring. And then when this lifts up, it will compress the spring and it will shut off the flow of the water.
Okay, I got it all set up here. Uh, as you can see, it's hooked up to the water source. Uh, I'm using a seven gallon little tank there, but you could use a bucket if you wanted. Uh, and it's dripping right out the bottom here. So I'm gonna set you guys up here to watch it. And I'm gonna get this base on and see that it works. Okay, so as you can see and maybe hear, um, it's still dripping just a little bit, but it's not doing a whole lot. It's pretty much shut off, and I don't know if you can see the water in there or not, but it's just a little bit below uh, kind of this inner rim, which I think is a pretty good level for this. And honestly, I'm not too concerned about the fact that it's still dripping a little bit, because when you got one of these things in with uh, you know 75 broiler chickens they're going through lots and lots of water so even if this does have a real slow drip on it uh, I think eventually it is going to cut off but they're gonna be drinking this fast enough that when it's 80 85 degrees outside it's not gonna matter because they're gonna be using that water up and then that's just going to be uh, running, uh, running right out of there again. So I think this is going to be pretty good. I'm sure there will be future adjustments made to this to make it run a little bit better. Uh, one thing I had to do is I'm using some strapping here instead to uh, hang it from, to make it a little bit more rigid, to keep it from going side to side because there's so much weight here up at the top because this is where you know all your stuff is that it wasn't wanting to hang level so I did that and I may end up doing something different for that as well but overall I'm actually kinda surprised and pretty happy about how well it's working hey guys thanks for watching the video I hope it wasn't uh, too terribly confusing with trying to explain how this works. So I think this is going to come out to be quite a bit cheaper than buying a bell waterer. Uh, I'll put in the description below what the actual uh, price breakdown came to, what, it, what this whole thing actually ended up costing. I'll put that down below. If I missed explaining what any of the, uh, the parts were that I was using, you know, feel free to ask that down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer your questions. Uh, I hope this has been helpful to someone. I mean, I think, I think there's potential here to build your own Bell Waterer. Um, I mean, the ones that are, you know, manufactured are really good, but, man, if we could build them for half the cost, that's a lot of savings there if you're running, you know, several broiler pens or something. So I, I think there's potential for this. I also think there's some stuff that maybe could be improved on it as well uh, to make it run a little bit better. But, you know, if you got any ideas, leave those down below. If you really like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time. No, I did not. <laughs>